Hi everyone, my name is JT Pilot and today we'll be making another 1400 scale model review. This time we're reviewing the NG model Southwest Airlines Ben 7 Max 7. So this this was a December 2023 release from NG Models that started to arrive at the retailers in February of 2024. And this is a pretty great NG Models release in my opinion. The only major issue being the color, but other than that, this is a fantastic release. So in case you're new to these videos, I'd like to first welcome you to my YouTube channel. YouTube channel. This is how I do reviews. So I grab the box of the model, then I do an in-depth analysis of the model. And at the end of this video, I'll, I'll be scoring this model with my JT score. So yes, it's really it's really exciting to finally have my first 747 Inch Max 7 in my collection besides the blank model. And I can't wait for this aircraft to fly you know, flying the Southwest fleet in the coming years once Boeing certifies the 747 Inch Max 7, whenever whenever that will be. So, yes, besides the color spot, this is a pretty, yeah, pretty fantastic model. So, let's start off the box of this model. And alright, so start off the box of this model. Really, really nice design by NG Models. So, on the top left, we got the Boeing 747 Inch Max 7 titles. Then we got Salva's Heart, Salva's Heart logo on the box, which is pretty beautiful. And we got some red, white, and blue stripes. Here we got the CJM, which is this beautiful aircraft. Then the Southwest logo on the bottom left with the registration of being November 720 for a uniform. And the entry models logo on the bottom right with one for scale collectible models logo. So proceeding on to the bottom of the box. So here we got the bottom of the box with the item number being 87001. And the barcode. Right side of the box. Top of the box. Left side of the box. And then proceeding on to the back of the box. Proceeding out to the back of the box, here we have the NG Models logo, the CJ image of this beautiful aircraft, and then some social medias, and then we have the item number once again, some warning labels, and that's it for the box. Just hear that beautiful F-18 in the background. And now to start off the model, so the first thing you can see immediately by looking at this model is how dark the blue on its livery is. It is way too dark. It does look better in some lightings, especially in a golden hour lighting, it does look more realistic, but in a standard lighting condition like this, this in this in a room it just looks way too dark so that is that is pretty unfortunate so yeah so there will be some points to deck i really hope ng models fixes the heart li yeah the heart livery sh um blue shade on their new 700 747 700 releases from southwest but i really doubt they will they'll probably end up like this the only only good side only um good thing about that is at least all the southwest heart livery um 747s that ng released recently at least at least they'll all match i guess if you're just collecting only those so this, the the blue shade's only really noticeable if you have some other releases from NG and Panda models from a little bit from a while, while ago. This blue shade is kind of similar to the Gemini shade on the earlier releases as well for Salva's Heart livery. Anyways, proceeding on to the model itself. So here we got the nose cone right there, the Weber cone, yeah, the Weber dome there, and the, um, and the static ports, and then the Pito too. We've got the cockpit windows. We've got the fleet number on the uh, nose lane gear. The nose lane gear is looking great. This model is a little bit tail heavy. That's my only other criticism, but everyone that's a great model. Here we got the L1 door, the Southwest logo, and then we got the Southwest tiles are looking great. Here we got the um, yeah, here we got the leap engines right there. So see if I'm leap engines looking great. So here we got the winglets on this one. The split tip winglets looking fantastic. We got the Mercy escape doors and Mercy escape paths there. Then the beautiful wing on the Sun Freight Center Max 7. So here we got a 10 out there, and here at the Wi Fi box, and unlike NG's other um, Southwest Maxes, they finally, it finally has the ring on it, which is really exciting. So it took them until this model to fix that issue, but at least they are listening. Here we got an antenna. And then here we got the tail of this model looking fantastic. The, the yellow, white, and red shades are all looking great. It's just the blue shades a little too dark. So here's the registration of this aircraft once again, number 720 for a uniform. And we got the L2 door in the United States flag. All right, so proceeding on to the back of the model, here we got the vertical stabilizers and horizontal, horizontal stabilizers. These are looking perfect. And then the back side of the wings are also looking perfect. All right, so here we have the bottom portion of this model. So here are the bottom portion of the tail looking great. Then we got a few antennas down there. We got the stand hold and the wing landing gear looking great. And then we got bottom of the wings all, all looking perfect. The Southwest Heart logo. If, if it, then we got the anti-collision light down there as well, and we got the nose landing gear all looking perfect. All right, so proceeding on to the front portion of the small. So here are the insides of the CFM leap engines looking perfect, and here are the cockpit windows and with the front portion of the wings all looking perfect. And all right, so proceeding on to the right side of the small. So not not much else is different on the side, but there's a few differences. So here with the R1 door, yeah, the baggage hold down there. Then we got the 
wings once again to see if I'm leaving it. It's looking perfect. And we got another back shoulder and we have the R2 door. And that is it for the right side as well. And that is it for the analysis portion of this review. So moving on to the JT score portion of this review. So injury miles nailed out nailed out several aspects of the JT score, including the feet slash section, the nose section, the tail, the wings, the engines, the details, and the aerials and the collectability. Injury miles received the 10 out of 10 in all those categories. This model, is, this model is highly collectible because this is the first time the Starcraft has ever, ever been released in 1400. And some other notable aspects in those categories. The engines are extremely well detailed and they do have the proper ring size on it. And I've seen complaints about that. The nose is uh, especially shaped well as well as the tail and the fuselage. And yeah, the lane gears have just received a 9 out of 10 just because this model has a tail to, has a um, tendency to be tail heavy. So NG could fix that by um, modifying the lane gear just a little bit. And the, the livery on this model has just received a 6 out of 10. It had to deduct 4 points for it being way too dark. I would have deducted, I would have deducted more if it was just worse, but yeah, that blue is way too dark. Um, it's not as bad in some situations, but in other situations, especially alongside some other models, it is very noticeable. So that's really unfortunate. Hopefully, NG could fix that. And the final score is models a 95-100 or an A in 95%. And all right, folks, so that's conclude this video. So yes, yeah, so you'll be seeing some outdoor photos of the small playing in the background. So overall, this is an this is a really great NG release in my opinion. Besides the livery being too dark, if you don't really mind the livery being too dark, this is a fantastic model to buy. Um, Gem, I could release this in the future with a better hard state, perhaps, but they don't have a Sim 47 Max 7 model at the moment, so it might be a while. So, yeah, this is a great um, viable option for any collectors out there. So, yes, I, I can't wait to use it at my airport, and it'll be a great uh, as, asset for my Southwest Airlines collection. And this is my 54 Southwest model, by the way. So, that's it for this video. I'm JT Pilot, and have a wonderful day.